dear thank you so much for watching thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so today we are going to be doing something different i want to show you what pig farming in cameroon looks like so opposite, opposite me you can hear the pigs making noise so i'm going to show you everything their food and uh, yeah everything so let's get to this okay hello i'm uh, paul kenya marcial and uh, i'm very happy to receive you here, my pigry. Uh, I'm a young Cameroonian who have decided to do pigry as a second source of uh, his revenue. So uh, this is my pigry. And at first I started with uh, two pigs and uh, the beginning was so tough, but now uh, I'm going sometimes to 100, more than 100, but due to sales, it uh, varies. So. At this level, you can go up to 200, 300. It depends on the means you have to support yourself. So, uh, piggery is a very good thing. I do it because I love it, first of all. Not because I want to earn money. But aside, you need to, to earn some money. So, as you can see here, my piggery, it is divided. We have a section for the little pigs, the piglets, and you have a section for the mature pigs. So, here is a section for the piglets, more, there is uh, three months, four months, five months, and so on. See where you have uh, mature pigs. So I think here they are two and a half months here. And there you can you can see there over there there are four months. Here also there are four months. Here there are five months. You see, all of them are, are crying like that because they want to eat. It's already time for their, for their feed to be given to them or for, for them to feed. So here, and you see I've divided them. Here are only females, they are males, they are males, and they are females. So I always divide them. Here is part of the section of mature pigs. Yeah, there are seven months. Yeah, seven months. You can come closer, they will not harm you. These are seven months, these are seven months. These two are seven months. And we feed them two times, twice a day. We clean, we clean the, the places before we feed them. Each morning and evening, we give them water in the, in the afternoon. Seven months, seven months too. Here too, so this is a pig of uh, eight months and she's pregnant. She's supposed to give birth maybe tomorrow or uh, after tomorrow. Or maybe this night even, she has to give birth. All along to here. This is, this is a mature pig of uh, one year. One year, two months. She has given birth uh, twice. No, this is, the third, this is the second time she has given birth. She's pregnant and she has to give birth to very soon. And uh, as, as what concerns the species, the very type of species, this one, particularly this is a land race species. There are Durox, there are Neymars, there are Hampshires uh, 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 and so on. But I do mostly with the local species because they are more resistant to illness than the, the species coming outside. Mm -hmm. So all this is a section of pregnant pigs. All of them, they are pregnant. And very soon they'll be giving birth. All of them here, they are pregnant. You see? This one standing here, this is... I love her so much. This is my... My, I can't say my best pig, but I love her so much. Her name is Madani. And this, this is her daughter, and her daughter is pregnant already. And she, she too will be giving birth very soon. And Madani too is pregnant again. I love her. She, she, is, uh, uh, she should be close to two meters in the, uh, like 180 kilos. She can eat, when they give her feed, she can eat what four or five pigs can eat. And she will not be full. She eats a lot. Yeah, she's really huge. I love her so much. When she stands, you think that <laughs> she can eat you. So this is another one. These are Jurox, but hybrid. 
These are Jurox. And these are males too. Like I told you, I separate males, remain with males and females, remain with females. So that when I have, when the crossing period come, I don't have difficulties. Mm -hmm. So that because when you put a pig wheel so closer to the female, a, a male is so closer to the female, when times reach to cross, you will, you will not even have time to do that. But when they are separated, when the pig is on heat, you will not waste time to cross. These are other ones. This one's uh, seven months old. And one thing too in, in, is that uh, the pigs too, it depends on the type of feet you give to the pig. You can, have a, you can have a pig, you can see somebody who has a pig of seven months and you have another person who has a pig of seven months, but the, 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 the difference in, in, the, in the weight is too, is too high. That is, you can see the other one weighing, uh, like a seven one weighing up to 90, 100 kilo, but you see the other one, the seven one weighing like uh, 50 or 60 kilos. It depends on the type of feed you give, but that costs a lot and a lot of money because normally if I had the means, I would have also uh, modernized my pigry, like having a, a water system where you don't have to give them water, you put pipettes and they, they come and drink and so on to wash, you wash with tap with uh, water and flush with water, but that needs a lot, a lot of money. Since I'm not in partnership with people, I do what I can do to my level and then I'm satisfied with that too. Mm -hmm. So this is another section of uh, pig of, uh, of piglets. And you see all of them, they are different species. All of them. I have three types of species here. So they are different. That is this. These are females. Those are males and, and those are, are males too. And when they reach a certain age, like when they reach, when they are two months, I castrate them. I castrate them to increase, to make them, that is, to reduce this, the, the, the stubbornness and to make them grow fast too. Yeah. Because a pig who is not, uh, which is not castrated, is more stubborn than a pig who is castrated. So, at first I did it in riding town that things as people were complaining how to come shift and come outskirts. And uh, when you're doing outskirts, you have to do, you have to uh, uh, try to look for some security measures. Like I had a dog, they just stole my dog some two days, some three days ago. They stole my, my, my dog. And that's so painful. Yeah, so when I do this, I also have uh, some traditional um, Chinese fowls. Yeah, you can see them there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. since as those, uh, the pigs staying up, what they eat, if it falls down, if the, the fowls are going to eat. And it makes them grow faster too. Mm -hmm. So nothing is lost. And the pig excrements, I keep them, I dry them for plantation. Mm -hmm. So that is it. So if somebody wants to come to the The partnership will, the partnership stuff will, uh, it will, it depends, it will depend because, you know, partnership, I first of all started, when I started, I started in partnership, but the problem is that I saw that I was doing everything alone and the other ones were just sitting and waiting for money and we, we, we put the, the same amount of money and then I was doing all alone. So that is what made me to be like scared of partnership. But yeah, if I have to go and come into, uh, into partner with somebody, into partnership with somebody, that would be uh, for us to put off some basis. And because I'm planning to open up a very big piggery, a range even, a big piggery with uh, 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 not only pigs, but I will have to do with uh, cows, I will have to do with chicken, with poultry, I will have to do with sheep, with goats and the fish, fish ponds and so on. So I, I would like to open up a very, very big uh, 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 stuff. So all of them are crying now because they want to eat. Like you see, that is a pig. When she stands like this, she's more than your height. Now, uh, the first thing is that the people need to first of all love it. 
Don't do it because you want to like over get money at first. You do it first because you, you love the animals, because there's some kind of uh, some kind of spiritual belief that when you love them, first of all, they grow faster, they produce more before you start thinking of money. So if you want to do it, if you love it, after loving it, you have to put much energy and effort in it. You have to be more concentrated and you have to, ready to, you have to be ready to spend. And that would depend on the number of things you need to, to do. Like if you are having a project of having like uh, 100 picks in two years, you can start. You can start with, uh, let's say, uh, 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 like 10 females and three males. In one and a half year or two years, you can be going to 70 or, or 100. It depends on how you, 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 you feed them and it depends on the type of species you take to. That matters too. So it's not like rushing and just picking, picking, picking things. And there are so many things you have to look around. Neighbors, would they not disturb? Am I far from neighbors? Am I doing, you have to do with a good veterinary doctor. The one, two, one thing to veterinary doctors is that they go to different farms. And they are two like vectors. I'm sorry to say that, but they are vectors of disease. That's why I myself, I treat my pigs when I sit. And if there is a difficulty, I go to a veterinary center, I take the drugs and I come and minister them myself. So I don't need to go to take a, somebody that has been walking to. But I need to walk, I say you need to walk with them because they are specialists. But I don't like them entering my farm because sometimes they might leave from a farm who was contaminated and come into your farm. That is it.